at TSM, Rachel Scary Hepdition. I'm Hugh Jazz. And I'm Jenny Tull. If you're just joining us, we've been talking about the issue of racism and racial profiling in sport today. We have here today Asian race car driver Maya Wang. Maya, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I grew up in an Asian community in Toronto, so of course I was brought up with a lot of traditions from my culture. And I lived with my parents. Um, they moved from Beijing right before I was born. And as a little girl, I've always watched NASCAR with my brothers, and I just dreamed of being the fastest woman in the world. Well, you've certainly done well for yourself, Maya. Tell us, what's been the biggest setback in your career? As an Asian woman, the biggest obstacle I've had to overcome was definitely the insults and the comments about my race and the sport that I work in. My parents never supported me while pursuing my career as a racer, so that was definitely really hard for me. And they push, always pushed me towards badminton or ping pong or just to do my studies in math, but that just wasn't for me. Um, this was very hard for me, but nothing compared to the racial profiling I've been subjected to. I'm sure that's been hard for you, Miss Wang. It's sad to think that we've come so far from the way things used to be, yet professional athletes still face this kind of racism today. Here's a clip of Mike Roch, reigning NASCAR champion, on his thoughts on his closest competitor. What do I think about Maya Wang? Maya Wang can't touch me. Maya Wang can't even come close to me. Maya Wang is just another Asian woman trying to make it in a white man's sport. I could beat Maya Wang anytime, any day. I could beat Maya Wang with one hand. Hell, I could beat Maya Wang with no hands. Mike Crouch, what are your thoughts on Maya Wang? She can't drive. It's probably no fact that Asians can't drive. And top it all off, she's a darn girl. Tell us, Maya, what's your response to the comments made by your hardest competitor, Mike Crouch? I was actually very offended by what he had to say to me. I thought it was a lovey by him. I thought he was really childish and so unprofessional. I am just as qualified to work in the sport as he is, and his racist remarks were frankly unacceptable. Indeed they were, Maya. You take these comments with such poise, and you don't lash out to your competitors. Tell us, how do you do it? Well, of course, these comments really hurt me and sometimes even make me feel less of a human being. But I'm better than that. I'm not really concerned with people who like me or dislike me, but rather, I just want them to respect me like the human being I am. People are always going to say mean things to you, and that's just because they're intimidated. So to keep myself from saying anything back, I just like to visualize myself winning a race and just the looks on their faces once I've won. That, I think, is the best way to come back. That's a great strategy, Maya. Is there any other advice you'd like to give to those in your situation? You gotta just keep doing what you love and never let the haters bring you down. The pain you feel from discrimination doesn't even compare to the feeling that you get after winning a race. So stay positive, stay strong, and most importantly, have fun. That's why we play sports in the first place, isn't it? If you believe in yourself, no matter what, anything is possible. Excellent advice, Ma. Thanks for coming in today and taking time from your busy schedule. Good luck in your next race. Thanks, Jenny. And it was my pleasure being here. Coming up later on TSN, Anita Mann tells us about her obstacles that she faces as a First Nations tennis player. Reality is, throughout Europe, soccer players of color are often subjected to racist acts and language as they play what is known as the beautiful game overseas. One of the strongest teams in perhaps the strongest league in the world. But even fans in his own stadium shower him with racist slurs and bananas. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And that is another young defenseman. Everybody's saying that P.K. Subban's the best 21-year-old defenseman. Alex Petrangelo also represented Canada. He's a 20-year-old. He's a first-round pick. And he does everything on the ice, off the ice, the white way. Is it one of these matters where the, the Kenyans and Ethiopians, they see, uh, let's, let's, let's be honest here, see a white guy out front, they don't take him seriously.